Now, why would anybody want to move to Orange County? Well, Lane, I have five things on a list here that you could consider if you're thinking about moving to Orange County. All right, let's see them. Uh, let's see, what would be the top one on your list? The top one on my list? I mean, obviously the weather. Absolutely. Obviously the weather. I think you cheated. It's on the I list. did cheat. 325 days of sunshine in Orange County. At least. That's not too hard to handle for most people. No, absolutely. Like, think about it. Like, how often does it rain? It does rain here, but it doesn't rain that often. It's beach weather, beach season. Get those bodies ready if you're planning on moving to Orange County because right. we are experiencing an unbelievable weather. And I think that's why home prices are a little bit higher than normal here is because you pay a weather tax. Uh, I, get, I like that. Weather <laughs> yeah. tax. Pay the weather tax. Absolutely. Uh, and when it rains... Uh, we like that too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we we need the rain right now, believe right. me. But um, yes, but we you so get to we'll enjoy great that. weather year round. Absolutely. And then the second thing is um, the outdoors, which coincides with the weather, uh, because Orange County has so much outdoor options for exercise, for just enjoying, um, just being out in open space, park space beaches, trails, bike trails. I mean, did you know there was a bike trail that goes all the way from the beach into all the way into Mojeska Canyon and you don't even have to get on a main street? My brother takes the bike trail same, like from the beach to Anaheim Stadium to go watch a baseball game. Oh my game. gosh. So wow. it, it's a it's a talk tra about no traffic jams. Yeah. But you're exactly right. With good weather comes lots of outdoor activities. This is one of the only places in the entire world where you can wake up in the morning go to the beach and go surfing and then drive an hour and a half to go snowboarding. And like, it's just incredible that you can experience both in the same day. Absolutely. Where else can you do that besides Most, beautiful Orange County, California? I think that's pretty unique, pretty rare. So. I think so too. Okay. Also, um, and traffic. Now, mm -hmm. obviously we have traffic, but have you ever noticed when you're driving back to Orange County from any other direction that when you hit the county line, the freeways just kind of open up and there's actually a carpool lane maybe and also wider lanes and they're clean and they have got great lighting and everything. They're, they're continuing to work on that. <laughs> well, that's true. But, <laughs> but I mean, it is with all the freeways crisscrossing the county, you really can navigate. Of course, we're very small geographically compared to like L.A. County. Yeah. But still having all the freeways going at different angles, it seems like that we're really easy it is really easy to maneuver around the county yeah you're gonna you're gonna be able to maneuver like a pro and i'm gonna sound very californian here when i talk about the 405 the 5 the 55 the 91 yeah you know there's a lot of uh of freeways or highways wherever you're from and however you want to interpret that but uh to get to know and to get to familiarize yourself with but you're gonna know the ins and outs of which ones to take the fastest routes to take depending on the time as well right when but, you use the that means you feel like it's a real entity it's real yeah. it's your you have a personal connection with that exactly freeway. exactly Exactly. But if you're planning to move to Orange County, connect with a pro or connect with your uh, you know, local real estate agent who can be able to tell you, okay, if you're going to work and you're living in, let's say, Dana Point and you need to go to Irvine, they're going to tell you what time of day you need to leave and which way to go. Absolutely. Maybe take advantage of some toll roads that we have here right. too. And of course, what neighborhoods might suit your be you best for that kind of a commute? Yeah, maybe you want to be a little bit more essential. And there's some areas where you have the 5 and the 405 and the 55 almost intersecting into one. And there's some surrounding areas that you can look into. Absolutely. Well. Absolutely. And then uh, this one's right up your alley lane because mm. I know you're a foodie. Mm, that I am. So talk about Orange County as a foodie. I love the food here. You can pick almost any city in Orange County and they're going to have something amazing there. Irvine, Santa Ana, Huntington Beach, Fountain Valley, Laguna Beach. And it depends on what you want. Like you can get this five-star amazing meal overlooking the ocean on sunset. You can, there's restaurants that are literally on the sand on the beach and you can enjoy that. Or you, there's some amazing hole-in-the-wall Mexican restaurants where you can have some of the best tacos you're ever going to have. Uh, I, I recently went to uh, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, oh, well, and I went yeah. to the front desk when I was checking into the hotel there and I said what's good here and they said oh we've got a great Mexican restaurant around the corner and I said and I laughed because I'm from California and and they said what's wrong and I said well we have probably some of the best Mexican food in California and they said oh you're not the first person to tell me that today and uh, because okay. apparently they sent another Californian to that Mexican restaurant and it was not the same okay. so there's amazing food here to take advantage of no matter where you are and we love exploring just outside of where we live because you can get to a lot of places in Orange County relatively quickly you know, more, no more than a 20 minute drive and have some of the best restaurants. There was a list actually that I saw. It was, um, I think, through the LA Times and it was 101 best restaurants. And most of those, those restaurants on the list were not LA restaurants, they're Orange County restaurants. Oh my so gosh. There's some great. really great opportunities for food. I noticed how excited you get when you talk Ooh, about food. I'm actually food. hungry right now, so I I'm thinking guess about lunch. So. Okay, and another thing right up your alley mm -hmm. sports teams. Now, Orange County 
doesn't really have any sports teams, do they? Oh, uh, we've got a couple. So directly in Anaheim, right, we've got the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, and we've got the Anaheim Ducks. So we've got the professional MLB team, and we've got a professional NHL, NHL team. So when you're moving here, don't get confused just because they say Los Angeles Angels doesn't mean that they're in Los Angeles County. They're actually in Orange County. Okay, okay so then we have ice hockey and baseball, but... There's a lot of other sports that people like that beside those. Oh, if you want basketball, if you want football, you just have to go no more than an hour and a half drive. You go you go to L.A. County, but you can take advantage of the Los Angeles Dodgers baseball team. You can take advantage of the L.A. Kings hockey team. If you like basketball, we have the Clippers. We have the Lakers. If you like football, at the brand new SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California, you can watch the Rams, the L.A. Rams. You can watch the Chargers. We also have soccer. Take advantage of soccer. There's some really big names that play for the, lo the local soccer clubs here in L.A. You have LAFC. You have L.A. Galaxy. So what you're saying is you can enjoy a lot of multi a multitude of sports, but you don't have to fight the hassle of being a resident of Los Angeles is what you're saying. Absolutely. Like growing up, I wasn't the biggest, like I didn't play hockey. I played uh, baseball and soccer. But um, when I went to my first Ducks, my dad took my first Ducks game when I was little and, and I fell in love with the sport. And so for a lot of people that might not be hockey fans moving to Orange County, I encourage you to go to a, a Ducks game or if you want to go to LA, go to a Kings game because there's professional sports no matter who you are, no matter where you are, even if you find the sport boring to watch on TV, it's so much fun to watch in person no matter what the sport. And I encourage anybody who comes here to get to know which sports are out there and take advantage of the teams because you can, you can go to any sports team like I said, baseball, hockey, football, you know, like within an hour and a half drive. If you're in Orange County, you're going to take advantage of the teams that are, that are in Anaheim, you know, because it's a little bit closer. But if you're willing to see some L.A. teams, you're not going to drive that far to see them. Wow, I like your enthusiasm. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're enthusiastic about Orange County, as you can tell. Yeah. So if you knew, if you want to have, if you have any other questions about moving to Orange County, we're here to help. We just want to give you five things that we thought would be beneficial Absolutely. or helpful and get and get to know what it means to move to Orange County. Yes.